Hello everyone, welcome to the Hype Productions. In this video, you're gonna see how to create a logo animation of the Facebook new logo, Meta. For that purpose, I'm gonna use 3D Studio Max and Adobe Illustrator, but before that, we just need to know where it comes from. So as you, see, as you can see that I have already this Meta logo here. But let me tell you this, uh, how to create this, First of all, I have several logos according to the Smita, this, uh, this kind of some kind of a VR box looking like this. So it can be Meta logo as well. And this is also present the M as a Meta. And uh, it was uh, actually, he, I have seen this uh, even from the Google. So that was my actual image, this one from the meta and from the meeting or maybe it's kind of a dating so let's create this in 3d studio max before that i just need to save this file in the illustration as a ai format and i'm gonna give the name is vr logo one thing you need to make it change and that was the version because i will import this object in 3d studio max so normally this 3D Studio Max already match with our Illustrator 8 version. So I'm gonna select 8 version and after that I'm gonna press this OK. So we have this logo and I'm gonna call this in 3D Studio Max to create this 3D logo. So I'm gonna import them and uh, I'll see this VR logo here. I'm gonna make it open. One thing is actually asking that you want to watch the object so definitely i want to watch because it's a single object and there's no more two or three objects so definitely i need to merge object and one more thing you want to have a single object so of course when you will do this so you can find out this logo in front of you in the form of a spline as you can see here is the editable spline what am i going to do it is totally low in size so i'm going to increase the size of this object now here i'm going to come to the modifier list and i will press extrude modifier so you can find out this is this going to be a 3d logo a 3d logo of meta so let's try another one i'm going to delete them Let's make it reset. Go to another one, the same, the logo of date here. And I have already, I have already saved this. So I'm going to import the logo of this one, the date logo. The same question, of course, merge object and the single object. But one thing that we have a problem, it is these logos are actually intersecting here in this point. So if I will uh, start extrude the object, so it will give you the error. It will going to be disappeared. So what am I going to do? I'm gonna uh, select them throughout the spline. I'm gonna select this one, delete them, this one, delete them. So after taking the spline, I'm gonna select this. And after that, I will create the outline. and now you can extrude them so it will extrude properly in a 3d way furthermore you may do this you can duplicate them and make it mirror so after making mirror you can include them as a 3d dating object logo as which is representing meta but the main things we need to find out the animation and I'm gonna draw the animation right now because this is Facebook new official logo meta so we need to create the animation and uh, I'm gonna for that purpose I will consider my left viewport first of all you need to create you need to go to the shape and then you have to create circle so from center point I have draw this beautiful circle here and uh, after that just make it to the center so it is center now and furthermore you need to face the situation that 
these objects cannot be found in the render. I'm going to take the render and you will find nothing in the render. Just because uh, a spline object or shape objects are non renderable elements, but you can make it renderable. How you have to select them, go to the modify panel, find out circles parameter and go to the rendering. After going to the rendering, you will find out these two options on the top of these rendering options, which is called enabling in render and enable in viewports. So you will have to select both of them. So now it is actually appear in the viewports. You will have to give some thickness or however you want and how much you want. It's up to you. Suppose I'm giving, to, giving this thickness. One more thing that I am facing this these AG surfaces. Uh, it is not properly fine. So this is the AG surfaces. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the second option, which is interpolations. And I'm going to increase these steps, which is I think 20. Yes. So as you can see, there's a detail and properly fill up. So let's consider my left viewport. Furthermore, first ever thing that I'm going to come here on this play animation player and I'm going to right click here so you can find out this time configuration parameter and you will have to increase the end time because it is 100 frames and I don't want 100 frames. I want more than 100 frames. So well, I'm going to do I'm going to make it's 150 approx. So now you can see the animation really becomes 150 animation 150 frame per second so let's start the animation first of all you will have to select this option which is auto key i'm going to take the rotation tool and select this key and after 60 seconds or sorry 60 frames i'm gonna rotate it something like this another circle like this So what you will have to face this condition. Okay. So it is a 60 frames. Now I'm going to go to the 90 frame. Before going to the 90 frames, turn on the auto key again and uh, select this one. Go to the 90th frame and make a turn like this. So if I would like to play this, okay, it's too much fast. So I will have to return one of the circle. Okay. This time I'm going to have some changes. What am I going to do? I'm going to select right click here, convert to editable spline. So, and I will find out vertex in the four corners of this object. So I'm going to select the vertex of top and bottom, these two vertexes, turn on the auto key and uh, come to the 90th and make it stretch something like this. So you can see in it, it is stretchable. And on this point, it will be straight as it is before. So now the one thing is going to make it change something like this. this so let's see our animation this point and now changing the rotation of like this till the 90th frame and from the 90th frame i'm going to hold the key and go to the 120 frames and i will give them certain rotation like this let's see did we create the logo of Facebook have you seen this 
Oh, that's crazy. Oh, I love this. And now we need to create some more changes because this logo is totally stretched. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go to the 90th frame. Uh, select the skill, auto key on, place the key here. And after 120, it will be something like this. It is going to be a proper logo of that. So let's play with this. This is great. This is outstanding right now. One more change. I'm going to go to the 90th frame again. Take the select and move tool. Auto key on. Select the key. And when it becomes a logo, so it has to become into this side. Let's play with it once again. okay when it comes to this side so i will have to call my this illustrated logo here i'm gonna go to the import once again find out this and i will find out this why it has this kind of error because the rendering option is on i'm gonna enable from I'm gonna disable them like this and like this so I can find scaling this meta text okay so take the rotation tool rotate it like this and rotate it like this So I have placed this meta here, something like this. Okay. I also need to select them, give them extrude modifier to have some extrusion in it. has to be straight then give them a certain rotation like this so uh, oh sorry I think uh, I'm gonna take the move tool again select them So on this meta, I'm gonna apply a modifier which is called slice. Press S multiple time and you will find slice here. And after slicing, I'm gonna give this remove from the top and just select the slice point, give them certain position like this. Okay. So what you will have to do, you will have to select on 110 frame, auto key on, place the key, and after this, it will be like this. Okay, so this was the first key. I'm gonna drag them here. Okay, and it's disappeared completely. that is perfectly done I'm gonna play this let me show you what we have created okay so as you can see guys that we have created this beautiful logo animation I have to give them a uh, proper colors something like I'm gonna give them a uh, blue color or maybe you want to have a uh, you would like to give them material as well and then for the rendering you need to follow 
these settings on the screen place a proper light i'm gonna give them a plain background behind of them and give them white color remove this grid so now you can see this beautiful facebook new logo animation after taking render you will have this output thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like this so subscribe our channel and press the bell icon thank you so much